Kenjiro just come back from Japan. Meet with Emperor. Many fun in Japan. Worried um, Empire. Many problem. I have sake with e Emperor. Talk Emperor. Tell him no problem, Empire. Empire always strong forever. Even though Sabaki make a mistake. Empire rules last March. It's okay. No problem. Because Kenjiro, strong, it's okay. Sabaki, not so strong, it's okay. Because Kenjiro tell Emperor, Sabaki, always no place. No problem. No problem. On what dictionary you're looking at. But in my case, it's always a good thing. Well, it's, if it's my dictionary, it's pretty big. We're going to start off Showdown 2013 with tag team matchup here between the Empire, who's been having their difficulties as of late. A little bit of a, a communication rift here and there. And with, when dealing with Kenjiro, there's always a communication rift. <laughs> Referee Arthur Pin Pin calls for the bell. And here we got Futuro. I was mentioning Futuro coming off of that amazing performance in a losing effort with Mark Anakin for that title. Back in action, they're teaming up with the returning Chris Cavanaugh. So it's a very intriguing matchup here. And we, oh, and I was just about to say, we know the history between these two men in the ring right now. To borrow a phrase, business has just about picked up. It's like they picked up wherever they left off. No love lost between these two. And with Chris Cavanaugh, you know he's got a lot of history, not only with Kajero, but in the ring. A savvy veteran of pro wrestling, traveled the world, former heavyweight champion, and trading, blistering, Knife edge chops there with Kenjiro. Kenjiro, some multiple chops there in the corner. And I have a feeling that. Uh, I think the technical term is uh, DDB. Is that the purple nerpa? Trying to match Sabaki's trunks, I believe. Or titty twister. I don't know what they call that nowadays. Are you allowed to say that on TV? And Kavanaugh taking his own safety out the window and his momentum of that lariat just going over, sending him over the top rope and now everyone is spilled out to ringside. The only person left in the ring with Arthur Pinpin -pin is Kalor Futuro who looks to be going airborne at all. Oh! Spinning corkscrew up to the outside ring. And Kalor Futuro picking up right where he left off as you mentioned in that epic heavyweight title match Last show. Uh oh, he's clearing the traffic. Kavanaugh. Nothing good can happen. Oh no! Oh! Unfortunately, Kavanaugh on the receiving end of that one as Kenjiro able to reverse that at the last second, sending Kavanaugh into the back row here at the Philcom. The AZW fans are all scattered in disarray. Oh no! Whoa, whoa! Kenjiro using that chair outside. Man, you can just see the hatred between these two. They're, they're taking it all the way out to the fence. I think we, <laughs> I think one of the fans is used almost as a weapon there. Yeah, they need to get back in the ring already. This is getting ridiculous. Need to be one thing about an Action Zone wrestling live show, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it, that's for sure. We got a jam-packed AZW Arena here tonight for Showdown 2013. And in the history of Showdowns, Showdown is always known to have jam-packed matches and it seems to bring out the best in these wrestlers, don't you say? Oh yeah, no, no event uh, brings out them like Showdown. There's just something about this event dating back from the very first Showdown, which featured the debut in Hawaii of Dragon Gate. And up to now, we've kept the tradition of Epic, epic encounters here at Showdown, and this is no different. We got a stack card tonight. Yes, we got some big matches lined up for you later on tonight, but we're starting up with a huge one here as the team of Color Futuro and Chris Cavanaugh taking on the Empire. And right now, the Empire seems to be on the same page, working 
very well together. Yeah, definitely on the same page right now. As you mentioned, they had, had some issues trying to get back on track in this matchup. But so far, it looks like they're doing just fine. You know, Kenjiro has been saying in the back that he feels that Sabaki has been kind of the, the weak link of the tag team. But, but he said he's okay with that. He said that he'll take care of it and that Sabaki knows his role. And I'm not quite sure if that's, that's fair. I mean, Sabaki, quite an accomplished wrestler on his own. Wow, you see that torque and that speed, that, that arm ringer of Sabaki. There's a little bit of a flare and an edge into Sabaki tonight, and I wonder if it has something to do with where he wants to try and disprove Kenjiro's claims that he's the, the weak link here in the team. Sabaki kind of has this air of a little more viciousness than usual. Nice forearm there to Kalor Fujino. Sabaki off the that violent clothesline there. Covering two count there for Sabaki. That's a clothesline with bad intentions. Back into the action is Kenjiro. You can start Here we go again, Kenjiro on the outside. He's starting to think that Kenjiro would wrestle. Does he know that he could wrestle in a ring? Kenjiro taking to some uh, weapons out there provided by somebody out in the fan. And one of our resident AZW fans there uh, providing a little bit of uh, I support. think he got confused with the word uh, crutch. Because you know the, the Japanese accent, clutch, oh, crutch, that's you get it? Is. Yes. Think about it, it takes a yeah. few seconds. Big clothesline there by Kenjiro, and Kalor Futuro has been in the ring taking a lot of punishment, and there's a very arrogant two count there for Kenjiro, and Kalor Futuro needs to desperately get a tag here as he's been taking a lot of punishment. Sabaki back in, and like, I gotta say right now, the Empire in complete control Keeping a quick tags and keeping him isolated. And look at right into that submission. Look at that. Sabaki torquing Kalor Futuro's arm right at the shoulder, putting a lot of pressure on there. And Kalor able to get to the rope for the break there. But he that's a have, devastating submission hold. He's shaking that out. He might have separated his shoulder there. We'll see how much that affects him later on in this match. And, oh, big mistake by Sabaki. Kalor Futuro has the opening that he might need to turn things around in. Big elbow there in the corner there by Kalor Futuro. And now both men down as Kalor Futuro. That's the break he needs to make that tag. But he might be flipping over for a cover here. Oh, very quick two count there for Futuro, and Futuro, uh, this might be a, a mistake here, DDB is. He might need to make that tag a little sooner than now, but he, maybe the pride of Futuro overtaking him. And, you know, Futuro, he had such success in his, his last singles match, and perhaps he, he feels like that's where he wants to be. Maybe he doesn't want to be in a tag match. There we go, there's Chris Kavanaugh made the tag. In comes Chris Kavanaugh. Kenjiro, close line to Sabaki. Chris Kavanaugh making that return. He wants to make this memorable. And Kavanaugh setting up Sabaki to the top rope here. This does not bode well for the mass Japanese star. Or forgive me, Okinawan star. Uh-oh. Uh oh Here comes Kenjiro. Let's go. Oh! combination there and everybody down unfortunately but Sabaki, Sabaki took some of the worst of that too the only man standing there is Kenjiro in comes Futuro and now all pandemonium oh! oh, Futuro hits the whole floor hard Futuro is out writhing on the floor in pain and now Chris Kavanaugh is in a world of trouble oh tag Miscommunication there by the Empire. Sabaki taking it out. His tag team partner. Here comes Kavanaugh. 
That was an exploder and a half. He could Kevin, be going up top. Kavanaugh could be going up for the big elbow drop from the top. Here he comes. Big man cometh. One, two, and three. That's it. It's all over. For the return and Chris Kavanaugh teaming up with Color Futuro. I did a turnout for this team of Chris Kavanaugh and Color Futuro. And I list looks like once again a miscommunication getting in the way of the Empire's success here in recent months. What is it gonna take for the Empire to get back on the same page? And Jiro trying to see what happened there with Sabaka. They're trying to figure this thing out. Doesn't look like oh, they're... Not, whoa, it's getting, oh, uh oh, things are getting heated between these two. Uh oh, this is not good right there. There's a little trouble in paradise. Looks like Look cooler at... heads have prevailed here. Perhaps they just needed a little bit of time there, DDP. All's, all's well in the Empire family. Again, Little miscommunication, but it looks like you said they, the cooler heads prevailed. I would say they have nothing in common at all. We've got, well, I guess the mildly bearded one in Hard Knocks Harrington taking on. It's trimmed for her pleasure. The high flying Jet Akuva. <laughs> Referee Richard Hamasaki in charge of this match. And we are all set. Hard Knocks Harrington taking on Jet Akuma here at Showdown 2013. DDB obviously a size differential here between these two. What are the keys for Jet Akuma to get a victory over? Definitely utilize his speed and, and those devastating kicks. And, and look at that. There he you listened go. to my advice. Smart, smart is Jet Akuma. Those kicks echoing through the... But that's what he needs to do. And that's what Hard Knocks needs to do. We were just wondering when we were going to see that power, that aggressive wrestling style. And I don't even want to call it wrestling. He, he admitted he's more of a brawler. He, Hard Knocks comes to fight and inflict pain. And that's even before he gets to the wrestling ring. This is before he gets to the Philcom. He's already probably beat up a bunch of people on his way here and he'll beat, beat up a bunch of people on his way out. Jed Akuma definitely has his hands here tonight. A big suplex there by the man from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Have you been to Bridgeport, Connecticut before, DDB? I'll take that as a no. Wait, what did you just say? I asked if you've been to Bridgeport, Connecticut before. What do you, of course not. Is that, is that near Makaha? It's a little off from there. If it's near Makaha, I probably drove by it a few times on the way home. Is it about a power plant? I'm sure there's something similar to a power plant there. That's one of the few times you're gonna see Hard Knocks Harrington smile, and usually it's following some kind of pain that he's inflicted, and out of the way is Jet Akuma now. Jet using those kicks that you mentioned earlier. And he's got the pool. Smashing Hard Knocks right in the face there. And Hard Knocks might be out here. One, two, and two count there for Jet Akuma. And Hard Knocks looks like he is a little woozy there. He took it all of Jet Akuma's weight right to the face there. Oh, it was all cannonball, all face. Oh, no! Oh. What happened? Did Richard slip? Did, he, did Richard slip? That was a blatant low blow there, but Richard Hamasaki didn't see it because uh, for whatever reason, he was out of position there. I don't know if he slipped or if he was tripped. It won't be the first time Richard slips. But you know Hard Knocks, he's, uh, he's gonna take advantage of every situation. And I wouldn't put it past Hard Knocks. I couldn't see from this vantage point, but I wouldn't put it past him that he did that on purpose as far as distracting Hamasaki so that he could 
get that low blow in there. And as you can see, that really slowed down Jet Akuma. I mean, we knew that Jet Akuma's advantage here was using his speed and, and kicks. And, well, that's all gone now after that low blow. Oh, yeah. Um, Hard Knocks totally put an end to that. Hard Knocks scooping up Jet Akuma here. Akuma trying to get out of it. Able to reverse and send Hard Knocks face first into the corner there. Oh. oh my goodness. Thunderous kicks to the back and all now one for the face. And Jetakuma going for the pin. He's got the hook of the leg and two count there for Jet Akuma. What would it mean for Jed Akuma if he could get a victory over Hard Knocks Harrington? Oh, this is a big, big victory for Jed Akuma, especially considering uh, this is like his first singles match in quite a while. You know, him and uh, Bobby Boda's Devil Shock are uh, recent tag team champions and still top contenders. Uh, now he has this opportunity to make a statement for himself in a singles. DDB, you've, you've been in tag teams before and then have branched off into singles uh, competition. Is it difficult to transition? Oh, my oh. God! Beautiful suplex there. That is Destiny 2 and 3. Oh, just like that, it's all over. Hard Knocks Harrington is your winner. That was devastating. Wow, what an emphatic finish by Hard Knocks. That was brutal. That had a quick and violent ending right there. And unfortunately for Jed Akuma, he was on the receiving end of that. Their first match, it was, it was a, I was just talking about it, Nolan. Their first encounter uh, at last month's show, this is a rematch for, that match was pretty damn good, man. It was pretty epic. And Rocco came within inches of walking away as a winner. And here we go. Rocco wasting no time getting back in his you know. He said he really wanted this rematch bad. Yeah, he, he as soon as that show was over, the very next day, he was contacting the AZW uh, match committee, and he requested a rematch at Final Solution. And you know that this is a different Rocco, because usually Rocco's the one coming out and doing dance routines and entertaining the crowd, and tonight, no dance routine. He just went straight for the action and straight for the Final Solution. But he got Final Solution down. And that is the key. There's a hook pin, pin attempt, just a two count there for Rocco Shinoda. I guess in the way Rocco's looking at it is he realizes at the last show how close he came. And it just makes him want that victory that much more. And Rocco Shinoda using the final solution as a trampoline there. Pin and two count and oh, solution bench pressed. Shinoda almost out of the ring there. That's that sh freakish strength of solution. Look at Rocco, man. He's just going at it. Look at that. Even as Solution's on his knees, he's still the same height as Rocco. That's how big of a size differential there is between these two. But look at Solution. Solution still up. I was going to say, he's, man, what's he going to take? That could, it could be that. Another two count there for Rocco. He landed more shots in that few seconds than Canelo Alvarez did in his whole fight with Floyd Mayweather. Oh! Oh my goodness! Thunderous chops there in the corner. You can hear those still echoing through the halls here. Oh, oh my God. God! I think Rocco has been smashed into a pack. You could hear the whole ring shift. I think the earth came off his axis. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I think Rocco's dead. He may have killed him. You could be right. That could be the, the last we see of Rocco, Rocco Shinoda. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, talk about back up and put your back up on it and your ass up on it. Jeez. When we say that AZW is where the action is, I think you just proved it there. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my, look at that, Rock 
those dudes got some fight in them. How is Rocco able to kick out? How is he even breathing? Good God almighty. Crowd getting behind Rocco. How can you not get behind him? That's impressive in itself. I have no idea how Rocco Shinoda is even moving again. The look at Final Solutions face, he doesn't know either. Yeah, if it's Solution, you're right. He might be thinking, like, what is it going to take to put Rocco away? And he knows how close Rocco came last month in their match. So, And he knows Rocco's, you know, take, say what you will about the size difference. You can't take nobody lightly here in AZW. Rocco barely even able to stand, trying to throw right hands to Solution, but you don't know how much pepper they got left in it. Solution sending oh, Rocco no. out. And Rocco tumbling to uh -oh. the outside. And here comes Solution. Uh oh, Solution got hung oh, up. Oh, that was smart of Rocco to get back in the ring. Smart move by Rocco. Oh, my. Oh, and Solution now falling to the ringside here. And Rocco calling for the top rope. He could fly. Oh, he's climbing up. Rocco's got his second wind here. Speaking of when he's about to catch air. Here comes Rocco and oh! Oh my God! Wrong body press off the top rope onto the final solution. And my gosh, did you see that height that Rocco got on there? This could be the momentum shift that Rocco needs. Man, how bad does Rocco want this? You get the feeling that Rocco's willing to put everything, including his own life, on the line here tonight. And you know what? Rocco would just do that. We've known Rocco. He's been here since day one in AZW. And you've seen what he's done. He's got no quit in him. And then look at that, look, they're both calling each other out, like, come on, see what you got. And Solution just showed him. Solution. Uncle did a bit wobbly there. Dropkick, not, not much. And Solution's just barking at Rocco, telling him to bring it. And Rocco, trying desperately as he is, having a tough time matching. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Close your eyes, folks. him in half. Rocco may be broken right now. Look at that. He's Rocco can't even move. Oh no. Oh, this could be a bad night for Rocco. Oh! One, two, and that's got to be an end. all over. Wow. Wow. So that's cool. Crazy. Back. Wow, what a match. And Rocco can't say enough about that guts of Rocco. Rocco's guts may be spilled all over the mat right now. It just might, but my goodness. But once again, Solution walks out the winner. But not without a fight. Oh, Rocco's got the mic. more. I can't believe that Rocco wants to continue this fight. I don't know, but Rocco is calling him up. Would you do that? I, 
Rocco is like a man possessed. The solution. You better watch out. You get in that ring, Rocco's gonna call you out of the fight. I'm gonna stay clear of that, my man.